everyone i welcome you once again to yet another episode of media mind season 2 an indian television.com initiative to put spotlight on the thoughts and leadership skills of some of the best industry leaders in the marketing advertising and publishing domain on today's episode we have mr rana barua with us who has had more than a two decade long stint with the marketing industry and has worked across agencies like Ogilvy JWT uh, Creative Land and now he is about to complete two years as Habas uh, Indian CEO and has been doing some great work for the agency uh, we welcome you Rana thank you thank you for calling me for in the show before i start talking to rana about his journey and the trends one thing i would like to mention is that i got to know from a lot of people that he is a very uh, people's person my last interaction with him that we did a few weeks ago i put it out on linkedin and so many people messaged me that i have worked with rana and he is a great person to work with tell me more about that side of yours because Uh, I guess you're the first person I have heard so much positive reviews about on LinkedIn. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that because you know sometimes you know you try, tend to believe that uh, the way you work, which I am, uh, you know, a very disciplined and a very straightforward working, uh, you know, you feel that you know people may read it uh, actually wrong. But actually, you know, to be honest, what has helped me is because they say that you know, though I am a tough taskmaster, but I'm also always open. I'm always listening. I'm always trying to make things lighter, uh, you know, to get things done. I think you know what has helped me over many, many, many years and many friendships and many friends that I've made. Uh, you know, whether they have been my juniors, whether seniors and all, I think is you know to be very, very open. about the way you work whether you're been a leader or even if you've just been a friend i think that leads and makes many more relationships uh, than just being professionals you know so i'm glad to hear that there are people who are still being very positive about me not just a people person and a very dedicated worker you are also very aggressive about your strategy we have seen at earlier agencies too and now to at havas you are uh, going on a very aggressive more when it comes to working there have been lot many consolidations that you have done for the company acquired a lot of firms yeah so i think uh, you know what i'm uh, uh, you know you will find and if you hear people who work very closely with me or have worked over many years and especially since i've started taking in leadership uh, profiles over the last 8 to 10 years is that you know what i do is very clearly i define tasks not in very long term but i define task short term keeping the long term plans in mind so if there is a vision that i want to you know make something happen long term i define short term steps and i go about it in very very uh, diligently and in a very very aggressive way uh, now aggressive can be read in two ways aggressive can also ma- uh, be read negatively but i think the aggressive nature that i have in myself is what i call it uh, is absolutely i i get quite obsessed about certain results and time oriented goals whether if it is about winning new wins or whether it is about getting certain kind of talent or whether it is trying to build a certain kind of a culture or whether you are trying to make things happen in a certain time frame i think things should happen quickly if especially in the kind of industry that we are in and the kind of you know the environment we live in you must define your task very sharply and that's what i do i define the task i set the goals and what i do is i always try and get a very good bunch of people around me who help me you know work towards those goals and make it happen and then i keep living those goals for a long time till i see the results happen and then i set again a new bunch of targets for ourselves or goals for ourselves and i go about for the next quarter so i don't let it ever i don't go with too many of them i define the kind of you know the zones that you must figure out for the next quarter or two quarters or what you want to do and then you single handedly go after those to make sure that they happen so as you mentioned that you work with very short term goals in mind and i guess that that one strategy would have helped you during the covid period in the past two three months because everyone sort of was forced to take a short term view to the subject so how did you manage these few months so 
so i think uh, you know to answer your question in a very honest way no short term goal or strategy or plans could have uh, you know kept us prepared or kept me prepared for uh, when covid happened i think it threw everybody off the chair it completely threw me off completely that what were you supposed to do is it short term is this going to stay what are we supposed to do do you just lock down for a few days and then you come back after a few weeks so the first few weeks i think just passed of trying to figure out life i think what one had to finally do is to kind of regroup we had to completely regroup as a bunch of senior managers and i'm glad that we have a very good bunch of uh, senior managers at the leadership team and people who are experienced people who come from various walks of life and i think the first few conversations was very open ended trying to figure out what was the right approach what was the thing that we were supposed to do and then you know we just went about uh, you know going and i think uh, my my strength again came back because the strength of bringing the people back making them focus into one zone getting them back into the you know common uh, vision getting them to understand that the goal post has moved but you know we can't define where the goal post is that it's going to be after 22 yards or is it going to be after 44 the point is that we have to keep working we have to keep going about it the clients remain our focus and all and today when we look back and you know 100 days plus have passed some of us just sit back and think that is amazing that we managed to cross so many days and uh, you know we keep saying the show must go on but the point is that you know we managed to really do well uh, in terms of the way we are working and i'm not saying do well as a company i'm talking here as numbers but i'm talking about as human beings i think we are doing well uh, you know we are mo- mentally motivated Uh, you know we are keeping ourselves engaged we are talking to each other we are talking to our clients we are solving many many clients issues and challenges and problems at the same time we are you know you know doing uh, we are pitching for new clients we are producing good work we are doing so many more things so you know i think hats off to everybody within the havas group and i'm sure across the entire advertising media network for really coming together you know people like all of you like you were saying that you know you guys have been so busy you know it's fantastic because i think you know it also shows how resilient we are as human beings you know we will never give up we will never give up no matter how tough the challenges become whatever happens we will know how to adapt and we'll go about it yes of course we look forward to much better days to come but i think we we managed to apart from fighting the real disease we managed to fight back with a life also so i'm extremely happy and positive about that fact another trend uh, that was quite ongoing in the industry and i mentioned it in your introduction to that uh, the industry has been very aggressive about mergers and acquisitions in the past few years uh, even at habas you have acquired a lot of indian companies recently so with the covid situation in place do you think going ahead in the next few months are we going to see more mergers and acquisitions or is it going to stop for a while so i i think i think uh, you know the question naturally is interesting because it depends on how we now define mergers and acquisitions so acquisition may come down uh, when they, when i say come down means it's not going to be that you are going to be acquiring companies uh, because you had the whereabouts or you felt like i needed to expand you are going to probably still acquire companies Uh, which will require ex- a certain expertise or a certain it will give you a certain edge if i may use the word over competition or something so i guess acquisitions may still continue but in much lesser numbers not like before i see mergers i definitely see mergers when i say mergers which is i'm splitting mergers and acquisition i see mergers because i can see certain companies uh, merging into each other uh, you know we've been hearing some global examples happening over the weekend uh, you know so we are going to probably see companies merging just to make it more productive trying to ensure that profitability of certain companies go up if there were 100 or people somewhere and 35 40 or people somewhere easier to run 140 people as one company than two different companies so you can see some mergers happening so you may have some agencies or media agencies all merging into a bit large size agencies and all so i definitely see rationalization happening uh in terms of both the mna space that's definitely coming up very soon also one thing that this pandemic has done has accelerated the digitization process across fields even in communication business uh, had the pandemic not happened this interaction would have been happening in one room with a three camera setup maybe face to face but a lot has changed for the communication uh companies be it on the uh, journalism side be it on the advertising side 
So, do you think that this uh, process, which has accelerated of digitization, will somehow change the role of agencies in the uh, brand cycle, uh, brand cycle, or will it remain the same? Of course, I mean, you know, so uh, you know, straightforward would be the answer that you know we were always aware that there is a world of digital and a digital landscape which had got created some years back. So it wasn't like you know the pandemic has uh, come and. you know suddenly revealed something new to everybody i think what it has done it has kind of made people adopt it quicker and faster because you were doing some things in a certain way and you would try and test certain models but you know even if even after all this also i think what we have managed to do very well is to understand that you know there is a way that the world will work and digitization is here to stay we always knew that you know because if you look at the new habits the way the entire new youth and the millennials even look at our country for example i'm not even talking about uh, the you know countries like america or the europe or the western countries where digitization has happened much earlier if you look at the way our you know the generations next or the generations after are behaving their their entire way of consuming media is different their entire consumption pattern is different they look at media in a different way their ott platform descriptions are different you know you know today you know we are aware that uh, you know there are many mediums that were used you know look at the way online media is being used if you look at the way all transactions happen look at the way e-commerce is happening so i think what has basically happened via this pandemic is that the adoption and the acceptance has been much quicker and better if you see the way things are going to only progress further i think it will only become further into your dna that this is how the world is this is how we'll be work but do keep in mind that the conversation will still always be on the business of ideas on the business of solutions on the business of conversations business of relevance that can never replace any form because that will still be the big thing that our business of advertising and media will keep talking so while digitization and every form of new media will do emerge and we will know, we know that it will keep being the biggest conversation going ahead and will it all to change uh, where brands are currently putting their money because we have seen a certain rise of digital but tv is still maintaining that momentum in most of the regions uh, but going ahead is there going to be an increase on the digital side uh, for ad revenue see the if you look at if you look at any form of numbers or any form of reports that come out from the established consultants that we all refer to you will find that everywhere it will say that in the next 5 years by 2024 2025 the digital ad revenues will be of a certain number of a certain percentage which is absolutely skyrocketing uh, am i somebody who's going to challenge that no i don't think so i think that's like we said digitization is here to stay the mediums have changed the way the consumers are talking about it is different we can't change human kind right so that is now gone way ahead so the numbers will also completely naturally go up to the world of digital which the point is that you you know what i see coming up in the next few years is i think some of us are going to witness it is a parallel world existence of media and parallel world of consumers there will be people like us and some people like many of us who will be consuming a certain way the in entire medium will exist which will allow some strong mediums like tv and others to remain strong because india is such a large country india is going to be always very strong on television So I think what will happen is for the next few years you are going to find, you know, a bit of a dichotomous kind of an existence of certain mediums, certain habits, certain forms. Till one day, the slowly the entire flip over after a few years will happen where certain patterns will completely merge and morph into a world of, you know, a different world. Because if you see what a pandemic like this has done, when you can't go out to shop, when you can't go out because it's unsafe, when you can't go out to buy your things, how many people have moved online? as you said everyone is forced to go online even if they are not willing to has the pandemic also accelerated the growth of programmatic advertising because india was lagging a little behind in the western counter parts when it came to programmatic so how do you see the future of programmatic going the point is that very simple that if you look at the way programmatic the whole thing works is very simple that you know it is supposed to rationalize and make it more cost effective it rationalizes the mediums and the channel selection and kind of gives you the most effective plan that you know one should take so i think i don't think any client is ever going to say that you know that is not of my interest or that is something a media channel or a partner will never uh, offer i think it will only now get sharper because 
with the mediums being used so much more and so many more being used i think it will only get sharper and you are going to definitely have very strong roi led uh, kind of plans which will always happen but please do remember it also depends on the journey on the life cycle of that particular product or brand that is advertising so if i need quick turnarounds if i need quick sales if i need quick numbers and my budgets are limited and if i know that i need to get things out or i need to do something very fast plus i have to ensure that i get the maximum money out of the buck i will have to ensure that my entire delivery plan or my entire planning is done with precision and is very clearly roi defined so we were discussing uh, about the growth of programmatic and how uh, the covid process has just accelerated it another uh, big gainer during this period has been the ott platforms and there are going to be mvpds offering bundles of uh, ott platforms now ptd is going to be a thing another trend that has gained traction which was already on a quite high social media so we are seeing a lot of new trends coming up a lot of new opportunities for the advertisers coming up so how are the agencies uh, or how can the agencies prepare for this whole new spectrum of things that are going to be available as an opportunity to the advertisers so i think you know the good thing is that at least there are more and more new forms of mediums and opportunities that is arising for both the clients and the consumers because it's good because you know it's it keeps the uh, engagement platforms exciting and also what happens is that the consumers also you know pick up new habits and all in terms of how to consume content i think what is also good then for an agency or a overall creative media agency is that that you know you are pushed to naturally create content in different forms so like you said ott there will be a different form of content social media different form of content if it's a viral it's a different form video different form and you know that some some are very exciting some are short but i think what what is very clear is that what we need to define is that where is some of these are very clearly tactical mediums right so i will not get into individual mediums to define which are tactical but some are very clearly tactical you quickly come you do a small little thing you do some drama you do a burst and you know wow okay there's a lot of noise about it you get picked up people talk about it. uh similarly then you get into content and all then you you know the ott platforms can create a very strong platform for driving content for driving a lot of messaging which is naturally different what we need to be very clear about like i keep telling you is that any form of storytelling any time any form of engagement pattern any form of conversations need to still continue and those are the conversations where you know a lot of these platforms need to be very clear about which are the platforms which will allow us to do something so you know just a flash will not help if i'm going to do a bit of a conversation somewhere i need to figure out how am how am i medium am i going to help the brand disseminate you know the questions that sometimes are asked to me are uh, if a brand has to explain the product how will i do it in such a little time frame earlier we had print which used to do full page and we still do but print is now slowly come down over the years if you look at television you had cinema you know you would do large format ads and all how do you do it so i think while people are still saying that you know the shorter form of engagements or quick you know form of engagements are good i think we need to be clear that how does some of these mediums allow brands to have their entire conversations being spoken to the consumers so that the consumers understand what you are telling me and i kind of understand that okay this is what the brand is trying to tell me and this is what i must behave with the brand and uh, this has also led to another debate which was already ongoing and i guess will only accelerate it will only accelerate going ahead is data versus creativity with everything moving online agencies are already doing very much data reliance i guess it's going to be more and more of real data real time data coming in and then actions uh, happening on that and if you go to social media there's just you have to respond to everything very quickly where does creativity fit in all of this how do you maintain a fine balance between the two i think this is going to be an eternal debate and uh, this is something which like i said uh, for many years we will keep debating and then it will one day either get buried or the debate will continue that you know how does is it creativity over data or data over creativity i think there are two different stories here and they merge some places 
first and foremost i think creativity if you look at the entire business of creativity you know you cannot uh, base it on data creativity is about understanding a consumer creativity is understanding how we behave creativity is about a lot of behavioral understanding it is about habits it is about lots of experiences it's about cultural nuances it's about you know small small country nuances it's about what you like what you don't dislike and whatever i think where we confuse this which is behavior and culture and understanding of a consumer and immediately say what does data say is how is that consumer adopting to certain data terms in terms of media habits in terms of conversation so i think data will definitely help like i keep saying understand and buy a you know particular media better but i don't get it why people you know really think that data will drive creativity better because it doesn't it doesn't because data actually may make it tougher for a very strong creative they actually run parallel which is the best way of working so, so as you said you maintain very short term goals at this moment at this point in time is the country is slowly unlocking the situation is slowly getting under control across the globe what are some of the short term goals that you have for your for your agency maybe for the next few months i think the way we are uh, we are going about our lives is to say that we need to see like we are definitely seeing it uh, you know we need to just tide over the next few months and just ensure that we go into the last quarter which is october november december with much more positivism and hope that the economy not only starts uh, you know showing better results but also starts helping all of us including our clients and everybody we understand that it's not going to be simple because we don't have a vaccine we also understand it's not going to be easy because we are not going to be socially interacting as much but i think what we are keeping in mind is that you know in a way let's start preparing for 2021 so we we have been cautious about every form for the next few months in terms of every form of cost in terms of every form of you know what we are doing is very very measured we are ensuring that you know uh, there is no ad hocism or there is no you know upheaval or any kind of uh, very very uh, you know unplanned thoughts are going on so if we are sitting in the month of july we are very clear that how august and september has to be for us in terms of overall we can keep discussing very often so there's a lot of conversation that keep happening between the senior management and the people who are running the show in the group so i think that is one very good it's very transparent so we are pretty clear about at least the next two months like i said we are hopeful that the way we planned our last october november december it goes the way the indian economy starts because every day we are hearing good stuff positive stuff conversation writing even though the numbers of the cases are going up but that is not directly correlating to uh, you are also hearing that lockdowns are going to happen today we hear bangalore is going to shut down for 10 days we heard pune and all have got shut down but that is still not dampening the spirits by you know trying to again you know get people down or demotivate so i think the short term for us is very clear that you know stay at it and be at it i think we've done a good job as a group to be together in this massive crisis i think we've worked really hard to come to a place where we are working in a way which is not only helping each other helping the clients also and i think we need to just keep going at it in absolutely the way i think we've managed to like i told you at the beginning of this conversation i think as human beings you know it takes us a bit of a time to adapt and once we adapt either we excel or we start perishing i think globally everywhere we started excelling of trying to figure out how to work better uh, or you know respecting each other how to ensure that you know the show goes on and you know we don't really really get impacted so i think that's something is a focus and we will continue to work harder to ensure that uh, you know we don't go off the road completely we stay focused on what we are doing and like i always told you the goals keep it just keep the goals tight uh, you know keep it simple don't make it too complicated right now it's anywhere too complicated world outside so just keep it simple few goals uh, as long as those goals can be achieved then set some more goals for the next quarter and move ahead
thank you so much rana for your time today uh, i know you have been running very busy doing a lot of work but thank you so much for coming here today thank you thank you for uh, an interesting session as always and it's always good to connect with you thank you